I don't mind the ads, I don't mind the buffer, but when the ads buffer, I suffer. That's good. You may be a poet and not even know it. Haven't done a responding to comments video in quite a long time, so I'm excited to see what questions you have for me. I'm gonna be tackling health questions and fun questions. Kill Leaf, your shirt is tight that you look like an intelligent stripper. <laughs> Actually, Rachel Ray said that to me once. She said, I look like a Chippendales dancer. Um, yeah, I like my shirts fitted. You can show off your physique, everything I work for in the gym, in the kitchen. By the way, I'm vegan right now. It sucks. I mean, I didn't say anything yet. You'll see the results in my 30 day vegan video coming soon. Matt Kenny, what's the deal with your presentation in South by Southwest? How come we didn't see it? It was actually an awesome presentation. I partnered with Vox Media and 3M talking about the power of silence. I did a whole video dedicated to the subject. The idea of silence needs to be incorporated in our lives and 3M is making some amazing strides in making this happen. Like they even talked about on stage how they make our commute quieter so that we can have time to ourselves in the car when we're not being attacked by employees and job duties and social media. I think the brain needs silence every now and then. Taylor, how tight do you want your shirt? Mike, yes. <laughs> okay, I do take my stuff to the tailor. Some of the stuff, actually this, this is fresh out the bag. Out the bag. Why Ella, 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 I think it's a Beyonce song. Or no, Rihanna, whoops. I have a question. I've been getting my period for three weeks straight. Is that all right? Ella, that is not all right. There's something abnormal going on. Good reason to talk to your doctor about your cycle. Questions that you should be prepared to answer. How long has this been going on? How long do your cycles last regularly? Are they regular? Are they irregular? Are you sexually active? Is it possible that you may be pregnant? If you come ready with all of these questions in mind, it'll make for an easier doctor's visit for you. James STFU, I know what that stands for, James. Yo, Mike, I know you're a Russian spy, Bro, I'm watching you. No, I'm not, bro, because if you would have known, I would have already ended you. Trust me, not a spy. Like it here, much better. Yeah, Mike works hard, but his shirt works harder. What's with the shirt stuff, man? Stop getting on me. Why do you think I wear a tie? It's because the buttons are about to say, peace. <laughs> Bag of Cheetos, S. He attack, he's a snack, but most importantly, he got nurses back. Damn right, I got my nurses back. I defend them. Shout out to all the nurses I work with. And CMAs, cause y'all don't get enough love. I don't know why I'm doing this accent. Maybe cause I did that. Pros Kirby, can you do a video on premature gray? I need to do that sadly. I don't know if you can tell, I'm premature graying. I'm in my 20s and I have gray hair. Sad. Sonia, collab with Glamgore please. This is happening. We've exchanged Twitter messages. I love her content. It's super fun to watch. I really want to collab, but I do know she's taking a personal mental, physical health break from YouTube, which is totally awesome. I support creators in doing this. They know themselves. They know their limits. Hey, Dr. Mike, what's the correct way to stop a bloody nose? Tilting my head back and swallowing the blood makes me nauseous, thanks. That is true, Annika. You do not want to tilt your head back because swallowing that blood will not only make you nauseous, but it can wreak havoc Wreck havoc? It can wreak havoc on your digestive system causing diarrhea or constipation. So what I recommend for my patients to do is to tilt their head forward, pinch at the base of the nose. If you get something cold there too, that will help. Cause ideally what you wanna do is pinch the blood vessels off so that less blood gets to the area and therefore you'll be better. Another little life hack, you can get a nasal spray, like one of those uh, constricting nasal sprays for congestion. Spray one of those bad boys in, it'll shrink the blood vessels and therefore, you're gonna have less blood flow and you'll lose less blood. Peter Ola. Hi Mike, I'm just wondering what car slash cars do you own? Peter, great question because I absolutely love cars. I'm actually driving my childhood dream car at the moment, an Audi R8 Spider. It's actually funny to say that because I used to have an Audi TTS back in the day. I crashed that car because of a spider. I have to tell that story on my channel at some point. If you're interested, hit it below in the comments. Unicorn love. Hey doc, I feel hard and wet down there even when doing simple common things May I know why I love your videos. Some of us get attracted to things and that's okay. What? Myself times two. What are your thoughts on women choosing female doctors? Do you think it is silly to be shy about seeing male doctors? I don't wanna say it's silly because everyone's entitled to have their own thoughts and anxieties and so forth. But I have spoken to women and recently, as you'll see soon in our collab video, I spoke to Molly Burke. Oh God, Pap Smears. I don't even 
even want to think about right. it. I will actually say, I prefer when men do it. I find because they don't know the feeling. They'll never know it. They can't experience so you it. Think they're extra they're careful. more sensitive. In my practice, we try and instill the fact to our patients that each of our doctors is well-trained and capable of seeing any sex. But if they have a very strong preference, we'll try and accommodate to the best of our ability. E. Cruz. Eat a can of Pringles and go to the sauna. Yeah. I don't quite get it. I love saunas though. I'm actually gonna make a Wednesday checkup dedicated to saunas. If you're game. You game? Hit me in the comments. Sauna, me, Pringles. No Pringles, just me, sauna. Yeah. Anna Hearn. If you had to move to another country, where would you move to? Love your videos, by the way. Thank you. Ooh, where would I move? I would like to move somewhere where they speak English as a first language, because that will help. I like Australia. I like their climate, it's warm, there's lots of sunshine, pretty isolated, so bad people can't get you. I don't know where I'm going with this. Australia, <laughs> that's my answer. Golden T. Genter. Is it okay to sleep with a fan pointed at you? I heard it can cause a stroke of some sorts. This is really good. I don't recommend having any kind of cold air blowing on you for an extended period of time, including air conditioner or fan, or a window open even while you're driving a car. The reason being is if you overcool a muscle in your neck, let's say if the fan's blowing on your neck all night, and you constantly have this cooling sensation on your neck and you're already sweating because it's hot, you're gonna overcool that muscle. You're gonna get less blood flow to that muscle, so it's gonna constrict and get really angry. So when you wake up and you use it and it spasms on you, you're gonna have a very stiff neck. So one of the first questions I ask my patients that come in with a stiff neck is, did you just drive for a very long period of time with the windows open, have the AC blow on you, or a fan? Happens quite often. Beast Girl, do weighted blankets really help with anxiety? Please like so he can see I really wanna know. Do they treat anxiety? No, I mean, let's be realistic. If it was that simple, I would just be prescribing anxiety or weighted blankets to all my patients. I think what I like about weighted blankets is there's some kind of innate human feeling of having something a little heavier on you that the blanket's not gonna just fly off and it's warm. Personally, I like heavier blankets, even in the summer when it's hot, but I think making claims that they help with medical or mental health conditions, it's going too far. Aaron Nixon, I think Dr. Mike is not named Mike. I'm not, my true name is actually Mikhail Varshavsky. I wonder if people knew that. Luis Herrera, hi Dr. Mike, can you explain the whole man flu phenomenon? Do men experience signs and symptoms worse compared to women? I have heard this somewhere and there was a study talking about how men complain more about their symptoms or when they have the same exact symptoms say that it affects them more. Why this happens, I'm not sure. I wanna say men are babies, but I feel like I'm being unfair to men. I would say I have witnessed this. And I also will say that men don't like going to see the doctor. So that if they're coming to see me, something really must be wrong or a woman in their lives have encouraged them to go see a doctor. Frank Mazarzi, Dr. Mike, what's your blood type? I'm A minus. I don't know what my blood type is, but I think if it should be anything, it should be A positive because I'm an A positive student. <laughs> Be positive because I want to be positive. Okay, moving on. David Ivashu, you should do a collab with James Charles. He would adore you so much, he will probably want to marry you. David, I appreciate the compliment, and I'm a fan of James Charles. Him and I have also DM'd. He's a pretty awesome human. For being 19 years old and accomplish everything he's accomplished, it's really impressive, especially being a positive person. Diana Capano. Hi, Dr. Mike, I'm a recent nursing school grad and we touched upon the ethical issues of slow codes. What is your personal perspective on the issue and did they talk about this in med school? Diana, great question. For those of you who don't know, slow codes is when you, when someone's heart stops and they call a code blue and they essentially are dead and you have to revive them. Slow codes is when you believe that a patient shouldn't be revived and the, patient, and the patient or the patient's family is making a bad decision where you don't necessarily do everything you can to revive them because you don't think it's in their best interest. I'm not a fan of this personally because I think everyone has a choice in their healthcare and if they choose to make that choice on their own or they choose to have the families make that decision, I think that's in their, you know, that's their right, that's their prerogative. It's my two cents. Question, why do I keep getting cold sores? Do I know what I can do to make them stop or why I even get them? Well, generally speaking, if you're getting cold sores, you have herpes. It's herpes simplex. It's a virus that stays dormant inside your body unless it breaks out in a form of a cold sore. Now, if you've gotten one cold sore, that means the virus is with you for life and will occasionally pop out when you're stressed, 
when you have a weakened immune system, like if you have a virus, a bacterial infection, and so forth. My recommendation to you would be talking to your doctor about how you can stay as healthy as possible, which is focusing on all your lifestyle habits. And then if you're still getting outbreaks very often, you can talk about a medication, which is an antiviral medication, which prevents these outbreaks. And you could take it daily, not just when you have an outbreak, in order to reduce the number of outbreaks that you do get. Dom the alien. Have you seen an increase in patients or people trying to become your new patient since you started your channel? I have seen that. Uh, it doesn't happen as often as you think. More often what happens is a patient is in a room, I walk in and they're so surprised to see me because they watch the YouTube channel, but them reaching out on their own doesn't happen often. And in general, uh, I tend to not accept new patients because my patient panel is so full. But there's plenty of great doctors in my practice that are accepting new patients. I think you're gonna love this playlist that I created just for you. My favorite videos of 2019 so far. Click it, click it, and stay happy and healthy.